Hello and welcome to the course on Introduction to Cloud Computing with a special emphasis for hosting Oracle eBusiness Suite in the cloud. Those of you who doesn't know me, my name is Kabir Khan and I'm a highly experienced Oracle Solution Architect and I've got over 15 years of experience in working in various Oracle related technologies and from the last two years I've been heavily working over the areas in cloud specifically in platform as a service and infrastructure as a service related clouds. Now don't worry about these acronyms as I will be explaining them to you later during the course. Now let's move towards the course contents. So this course is for people who are beginners to the cloud and they would like to explore the cloud computing environment for hosting their enterprise servers in a cloud. So I'm going to start with very basic concepts of what exactly is a cloud computing, the different cloud hosting types, the types of clouds, the advantages of cloud computing for enterprises, and the advantages of hosting Oracle eBusiness Suite in a cloud. Then we'll move on towards the features of how to identify a good cloud vendor. So I'm going to cover a number of different features that makes a good cloud vendor such as a cloud data center, the type of infrastructure offered by the vendor, the operating systems availability, the Linux command line console access, the scalability to easily upscale to a higher side, the network in and out speed, the domain mapping, automated hot backups or cold backups and so on. We'll then move towards the cloud security and migration related topics. So I'm going to start by explaining you some security concepts such as concept of SSH, firewall and third party related antivirus software for administrators that they can leverage as a part of their cloud implementation. Then we'll understand the security aspects from the perspective of end users wherein I'm going to explain you the concept of VPN. Then we'll cover some areas of how you can effectively migrate to a cloud computing environment. Last area would be cloud for Oracle eBusiness Suite projects. So ACL's main business is into Oracle technologies and hence I would like to also cover specifically for the considerations that you must make while you're deploying your environment in a cloud for Oracle eBusiness Suite applications. Which is where I'm going to cover the different infrastructure requirements that you should consider. And if at all you haven't made your mind, then you may want to start with your demo or development environment to first deploy them in the cloud and then see how is the performance, whether users are happy, whether you can carry on. If, and if you're happy, then as a next step, you can move your production environment to cloud. And lastly, we'll wrap up by listing down a number of differentiation factors that makes a good vendor and differentiates from other vendors in the market. Alright, so I'm going to explain you a couple of other things now in terms of course assumptions, course methodology and who all should take this course and then we'll start by the first topic of introduction to cloud computing.